case of big business could force a small store owner to shut down. A rezoning proposal in Monroeville will soon go before the Allen County Plan Commission. If approved, a Dollar General store will come to town. But the owner of a local dollar store there is fighting to keep that from happening. News Channel 15's Janice Allen is here now with the details. Well, the owner says there's not enough room for two dollar stores. Her store, Dollar Dance, has only been up and running a few years, and she's worried a new Dollar General will completely change that. I decided to start a dollar store because there wasn't any other store within probably 15, 20 miles of Monroeville. Three years ago, Leanna Brazzi started her business, Dollar Dance, with a lock on the market. It's been the only dollar store in town, but that might not be the case for much longer. A rezoning proposal includes plans to bring a dollar general there. It's starting to get busier and pay the bills, and we're doing better every year, but... With a Dollar General, you know that's going to compete against me. I can't compete against them. If it's approved, the Dollar General will go in here off of State Road 101, just a few blocks away from Leanna's store. But she's not the only one that has concerns about it coming to town. I believe the Dollar General will make a, the intersection here real mess. Between the increased traffic and potential loss of business, most people told us a Dollar General isn't needed or wanted. But the developers behind the plan told News Channel 15 the location was picked because Monroeville is, quote, an underserved market. I'll probably have to close if they would move in here. So Leanna's doing her best to keep that from happening. She and some others are starting a petition to fight the rezoning proposal. There's a lot at stake, and even if she can't stop the plans, Leanna isn't giving up. I'm still going to try. I'm hoping, you know, they'll still come here. I got comparable prices to Dollar General. I'm a fighter, but it's going to be tough. The company behind the rezoning petition declined my request for an interview. The proposal goes before the plan commission on October 15th, and there will be a public hearing before then to get some input before they make that decision. Okay, Janice Allen tonight. Thank you.